<laughs> well, the new show Star Cross premiered last night on The CW. I had a chance to talk to two of the stars from that show about not only what we can expect, but also we got a little dating advice. Take a look. Yeah, it is unique. Starcross is unique. <laughs> it's um, it's 2024. There's seven atrians that they're trying to integrate into a high school, and there's romance and sci-fi and integration and social issues. There's and you know, action and yeah. fights and technology and fashion. There's a little bit of everything for everyone. Definitely unlike anything we've seen on TV before. So. Okay, that was, that's what I was going to ask you. So what do you think makes it so incredibly unique, and what is it that's going to hook the audiences? <clears throat> well, a lot of people, um, because it's about aliens, like to compare it to Roswell or you mm -hmm. know some other kind of alien show. But one of the main differences is that in Roswell, it's all about kind of hiding aliens, and that's kind of what we've seen mostly. But in our show... Aliens have been on Earth for 10 years. It's kind of just a fact of life. They're here, they're here to stay. But now this show is kind of about how do we integrate the two mm -hmm. species and, and how can we how can we coexist together and so we start out uh, in our in our show with the pilot program to put in seven atrian high school kids into an American high school and that's kind of a testing ground for the whole thing and then on top uh -huh. of all that you've got this kind of forbidden romance between uh -huh. Roman and Emery star-crossed lovers perhaps Hence the star card. You got it. I love it. it. <laughs> I, clever, clever writers. Now, I do want to talk to Amy just a little bit because I know our, our audience and our viewers remember you. You were on Friday Night Lights, hugely successful. So uh, this is yes. quite, quite a different show you're doing. <laughs> yeah, it's it's from small town Texas football and kind of gritty to um, ten years in the future in the uh, different high school with aliens and sci-fi and whatnot. Okay, well, yeah, you're definitely in a different role here. And, and then, Matt, you're, you're from Georgia, <laughs> so you're a southern gentleman. I am. So, I tell uh, uh, Yeah, I'd like to think so. Yes, ma'am. I, I just want you to give <laughs> our, our viewers um, just a little advice on dating. Can you do that? Advice on dating? Yeah. Oh, man. Be yourself, because if you're not yourself, you're going to get found out. Um, and then I think, I think also just be loose. If you're on a first date or something, especially... Just be loose, because um, it just makes things awkward if you're all like worrying about what you're gonna say or you know how you're gonna be. So I got right? it. I got. Do you agree yes. with that, Amy? Right? Yes. <laughs> That's a thumbs yeah, up. I would. I would definitely, definitely agree with that. I would say first dates are, are best to have just like drinks or coffee or something. So that way, if you you know the chemistry isn't there, you're not stuck sitting through a whole dinner. There you go. You guys are adorable. Drinks. Have the drinks. Have yeah, a few. Well, have the drinks maybe before the date and then before dinner. You should be good to go no matter what happens. Right. All right. The show is star-crossed, yeah. and uh, we're so excited to see it and, uh, and uh, to find out how successful it becomes. Thank you both. Thank you. Appreciate Thank it. you.